Welcome to sunny San Diego, California, where GM has chosen to launch their mid-sized trucks, the GMC Canyon and Chevrolet Colorado. Now, by GM's own admission, the last Colorado and Canyon were not up to standards. Uh, they kind of did things the way the old GM did things. They developed a truck without listening to customers. But with this truck, they did listen to customers. They really analyzed how people are using their mid-sized trucks. You know, the mid-sized truck segment has been dominated by Toyota. Uh, the Tacoma shares over a 70% market share. And you have the Nissan Frontier and what was left over of the Colorado and Canyon to kind of fight for that last 25% or so. But GM hopes all of that will change with this new truck. We got great powertrains, great configurations, aggressive pricing, and they really addressed uh, the interior. Uh, when you get inside of one of these, you are going to be blown away uh, how much effort and quality has gone into the all new Canyon and Colorado. For the 2015 model year, Chevy and GMC are launching with two engines. There is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine shown here that produces 200 horsepower. And the upgraded engine is the 3.6 liter V6 producing 305 horsepower. But next year is the real engine. That's gonna be a four cylinder Duramax diesel engine that's gonna have a ton of torque. So for those of you looking to do a lot of towing and hauling, not that this vehicle is not capable, but that vehicle will be even more capable. So we're really excited for that engine next year. But for now, we have two very capable and proven engines, especially that 3.6, which should account for about 75% of these midsize pickup truck powertrains. Right now we're in the four cylinder model, which has 200 horsepower as mentioned, and it feels very capable. The fuel economy is slightly better on the four cylinder than the V6, but we anticipate the majority of customers will opt for the larger engine. So the interior is really where uh, a lot of the focus has been on the redesign. Of course, the exterior is, is new, it's larger, it's, it's considerably uh, better looking, uh, but the interior is really where they needed to focus a lot of effort. Uh, you have a lot of uh, high grade materials, high touch materials. The, one of the differentiators from the uh, Canyon to the Colorado, especially on the upper trim levels, is the use of materials. You have some uh, of the contrast stitching and real aluminum where you see uh, in, the in the Colorado, it's, it's plastic that's made to look like aluminum. So those are just some little differentiators uh, from one truck to another. Uh, depending on the model, there's about an $800 to $1,000 price difference uh, between the uh, Colorado and the Canyon. But overall, we love the gauges. Uh, you can see the infotainment unit has been borrowed from other GM vehicles and why not? It works great. Uh, overall, a great job, very comfortable seating. One of my issues with the outgoing Colorado was rear seating. They have improved that a little bit, but it's still pretty tight. With the crew cab, um, if you're planning on taking five adults, it's going to be tight. You may want to get a full-size truck, but it's fine for short trips. Um, overall, uh, uh, a great truck. I think you're going to see the typical transaction price for a Nicely equipped one, around 32000 If you fully max out, um, a top of the line Canyon is going to be around $41,000. Uh, starting price on these trucks is in the low 20s. The Canyon in Colorado will be available in two body styles. This is the extended cab, and of course the crew cab is going to be the more popular one. That's the one with four fully functional doors. Now, for the extended cab, you get this six foot two long bed. With a crew cab, you have a choice between a five foot two standard bed or a six foot two inch extended bed. You also get these uh, step bumpers. Uh, this is a carryover from the full size trucks. They really make use of otherwise wasted space, but it makes it easy when you want to load things up. And we've had mountain bikes and kayaks and surfboards and these things all week. Uh, this really makes it handy to get in and out. So there you have it. This is our first drive with the Colorado and Canyon. Well, we're very excited what GM has brought to market. I think they've really addressed the needs of mid-size truck owners. Uh, they tell us that a lot of these customers are looking for a crossover type ride, but still have plenty of pickup truck capability with the body on frame. The V6 can tow about 7,000 pounds, so lots of capabilities there. You know, a few years ago, Honda tried a, a mid-sized truck, the Ridgeline, which was a unibody, 
and it didn't fare very well with uh, true truck owners. Um, hopefully this will appeal to both the hardcore truckers and the weekend warriors who want something that's comfortable yet capable.